fallout, smoke, women crying for their sons because their sons are not, Romans killing riotous groups that are rising up, free Judea, free our people, autonomy for Israel. You had Herod, an Edomite, and his dynasty, Herod's ruling, killing any potential threat, any potential Messiah. Then you had the Pharisees and the Sadducees that we learned from Josephus are not Jews by birth. No. What's up, BZ Dynasty? This is your boy, the man, the myth, and the legend, Mr. J.B. Zion, your favorite dreaded hero, your favorite dreaded Israelite, Yoruba Ephraim of the tribe of Joseph. I will repeat that because some people say, what are you saying? Yoruba. Yoruba, people of Nigeria, Banai Ephraim of the tribe of Joseph. Y'all, I'm just playing with y'all. Welcome back to Zion Dynasty. I love y'all. Shalom to all my Israelite brothers and sisters and shalom to my Gentile family. You know who you are, all right? Uh, praises be to the Most High, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. As y'all see by the title, this is going to be a big one, you guys. Now, I got to go ahead and tell you guys, I wasn't going to do this. I was not going to do this video. I know I'm on a journey with a lot of Christians, a lot of my people that are coming out of the Christian church, and a lot of them are still in the Christian church. And I knew this was going, this is going to catch me hell for this video. And a lot of you guys are going to be like, what? And I know a lot of y'all are like, JB, what does this have to do with, with the theme of the month? The theme of this month, as a lot of you guys know, is we're dealing with love. We're dealing with love the most high, Yah, with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, the greatest commandment. We're dealing with love your neighbor as you love yourself. And segued in between that, we're dealing with relationships. Loving that significant other, i.e. that spouse. Loving your children. Um, those different families coming together. Because the linchpin of a community is the family. That's why the home is under such attack. That's why the divorce rate is out the roof in the so-called two continents slapped together, so-called Crayola color black community. Um, that's why we're in the condition we are because our family, Satan's going after the family. Charity begins at home. The community is these families coming together and the nation is all of these communities coming together, right? So we're going to deal with the love of the most high, the love of the community starting in the family and then loving your neighbor, your people as you love yourself and why it's so hard for our people to love themselves. Why ministers like myself catch hell. Y'all have no idea how much I'm pitting my neck out for some of these videos. I catch hell from a lot of different pastors and leaders about these topics. And a lot of them are from my older generation. So they're like, what the f what is going on? And, and, and I know it's a shock factor to it, but a lot of that is, you know, it's youthful. It's a different generation. So it's going to be like that. But it's because of the truth, you guys. Our people have had so much of this knowledge hidden from us. The history, the heritage of who we are. And me doing this is, is it's a shock to a lot of people. I'm just going to say it like that. And, but I do want to share my heart. The reason I make these videos is because I love my people. Any person that tells you that they love you and they don't tell you the truth, they're lying to you. If I'm walking with you and I see you're getting ready to fall off a cliff, love is not going to be like, excuse me, excuse me. Um, if you take a couple of more steps, maybe you might lose your life. Love is going to be like Big Mama, like you finna die. Our people have been lied to. White Jesus is an idol. He never existed. He was a black man with woolly hair. African Americans so-called, they call you a byword because you're the Israelites. You descend from Israel. You're the chosen people. you under the curses of Deuteronomy 28. We hate each other because we've been taught we nothing. The homicide rate is through the roof because we taught we don't have no identity. you got to tell people the truth. And it's amazing. You guys have no idea how much hell your boy takes for saying this stuff. People think that I'm doing it for some kind of flash or I gain something. Y'all, please understand. You see those articles of uh, certificates up there? That's my license and my ordination papers, right? I would show you guys my degrees. It's on the top, top. Sh well, you might can see it. It's up there. But basically, you guys, I don't do this for any gain. Most Israelites have given up a lot in this life. And a lot in this walk is what I'm saying. We come from professional backgrounds. I, I was in medical school, y'all, but when I saw that y'all capitalizing off the, the symptom and you're not dealing with the root, 
and that these hospitals is filled with my people and y'all not dealing with the curses that's putting us in the hospitals. I said, this ain't the route for me. It's so many Israelites that have similar stories. They were, I'm going to tell y'all, it's some Israelites I know that can out preach any pastor. Why am I saying it? We're giving up this not for no gain. The information that I bring is because I love my people and I'm watching as sincere loving black people are dying. I live in Homicide Central, Montgomery, Alabama. Every other day, black people are killing each other. Y'all say the ethnicity don't matter. You say, okay, so what we Israel, that don't matter. You're telling me if I don't teach, if, if, if I teach every young black person that they descend from King David, Jesus Christ, that that's not going to affect how they treat one another? Come on, you can't be that simple, right? And some of these leaders are lost in the sauce. And, and I might catch flack for this video, but I got to deal with it, y'all. We're going to deal with this Christianity stuff, y'all. Now, this is a segue into our love documentary, but to deal with the love, us loving one another, you got to come through white Jesus. You got to tear that thing down. Because I'm seeing I can't really get Christians, black Christians, to love themselves because the first thing they tell me is, well, that stuff don't matter. So Christ being an Israelite doesn't matter. The Father sending him that way doesn't matter. You know, neither Jew nor Gentile. These folks don't even know what Gentiles Paul was sent to. Y'all check that video out. There were Hellenized Israelites that went by the names of the nations that they were living in. Guess what, y'all? I'm an American. But ethnically, I'm an Israelite. So you got to do a lot of history, i.e., Harvard approved Israel Redivitus. I ain't even want to pull this out, but let me show y'all something. In case y'all think I'm lying about this stuff. What does that say? Harvard University Library. In this book, the scholars let you know that they knew that these Gentiles Paul was sent to were in fact Israelites. And I might put that insert in this video, you guys. Christianity has taught us that at best Israel is done away with. That Christ was immaculate, and that's what we finna deal with in this video. Christ was immaculate, virgin birth, church replacement, or replacement theology. Israel's done. They had their time in the sun. They failed. That's it. They won't look at Jeremiah 31, 31, and Hebrews 8, 8 being the fulfillment. That the new covenant, Romans 9, 4, talks about the promises. So the new covenant is for Israel. The promises in Romans chapter 9, verse 4 is for Israel. Israel is not done away with. So in today's video, y'all, I know that was a long intro. We're dealing with was Christ immaculately conceived? Was Christ the only begotten son? Was he born of a virgin? I'm going to touch that a little bit, but I'm going to have to do a follow-up. But first, let's deal with is Christ the only begotten son? And we finna hit it with these scriptures. Let's get it going, y'all. The first scripture we're going to is Exodus chapter 4, verse 22. We're going to deal with it. And in Exodus chapter 4, verse 22, it says, And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, that is Yah Almighty, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Why does this matter, JB? The Christianity that I'm bashing is this Council of Nicaea, post-325 AD, Immaculate Conception, Bunnies laying eggs, which they're mammals, they don't. Christmas trees that Jeremiah chapter 10 slices and dices these things. This Christianity is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Well, how is Christianity the devil that the Bible speaks of? Because the Christianity that we practice is not biblical, is what I'm saying. They have made Christ the Immaculate, the only begotten son, to keep Yah's people, Israel, from having a place. They say, y'all don't matter no more. Even though you're under the curses of Deuteronomy 28, you don't matter no more. So apparently the Most High saying we matter because Satan's targeting us and the Most High, he is allowing it. The Most High is allowing us to be under these curses because he wants us to turn back to him. Let's go ahead and hit these precepts. So in Exodus 4.22, he says, Israel is my son. Israel is my firstborn. Let's go to 2 Ezra chapter 6. Beginning at verse 58. And this is why they took this book out. Let's get it. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover are given into their hands. That's the other nation. Swing, swing, swing. Let's go! Right there we see in Ezra. 
that Israel is thy only begotten. That's why the scripture says that Jacob only have I known. Therefore will I punish you because of your sins. That we are the people of God. He has dealt so with no other nation. And that's factuals. Let's pull out some more precepts. Let's deal with this Christ the only son. And I'm going to tell you guys. Let me go ahead and tell you guys. Christ epitomizes Israel. Christ coming. The way he lived. The example that he laid was for us as his people to follow. The way he laid down his life for his people even though he was innocent was for us to learn. This is why Yeshua said he's the way, the truth, and the life. This is why the early church historically, watch this, was known as followers of the way. Disciples mean I live like Christ. Christ did not come to be some superhero that you admire. He came to be an example for his people to live thereby. And that's factual, y'all. Let's go ahead and get these precepts going. John chapter 1 verse 48 says, Philip finding Nathanael and said unto him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and the prophets did write, Yeshua of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Why did I have to pick the son of Joseph? Because as I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know, Christ was not immaculately conceived. This is not historical. Some people say, what do you mean when you keep saying historical? There's the Council of Nicaea, white Jesus and Easter baskets. And there's the followers of the way. These two Hebraic early, early church his history Israelites that believed in Yeshua yet had fear unto God and kept the law, statutes and commandments. This is in Revelation chapter 14 verse 12. That he says, those that believe in the Messiah, that keep the commandments in the faith of Yeshua. This is biblical. The early church, when I say Orthodox Christianity, this is before the Roman Catholic. It's some, some leaders told me, well, I'm Orthodox. By what standard? The, the early apostles that penned the scriptures during their time, they kept the commandments. So this new thing that we're doing today is Orthodox Roman Catholicism. This is where we get the virgin birth and that Christ is the only begotten son. They want you to think that Christ put it into Israel and that Christ is the only son of, of the Most High, even though this is not biblical. Exodus tells us when Moses was free in Israel that they're his son. We see in 2nd Ezra that it even says the only begotten son. Why does all this matter, JB? This matters because there is a war against Israel. There is a war. Y'all got to hear me. This information is coming out. And the powers that be are not reactive. Y'all need to understand what I'm saying. They have already planned. They said that, okay, they're going to wake up because the most high there is a God. So they, they believe that there is a creator because they're planning for when we wake up, which are people that have been destroyed for so long. Y'all understand. We shouldn't be coming back out of nowhere. Oh, I'm an Israelite of the tribe of Ephraim, of the son of Joseph. How does that happen? There is a God, y'all, that is tired of his people being shot on the street and armed. That's tired of his people suffering in this world. Now, I know I'm going to keep it straight with y'all. There are some bourgeoisie black people and leaders, just like there were during Yeshua's time, that are living so good that they're disenfranchised from the herd of the people, the grassroots people. And they'll come against me for saying things like this. Let me, give, let me, let me make it plain for y'all. Me saying that Christ was just like us. He was born as, as an Israelite with an Israelite mama and an Israelite dad. But he kept the law, statutes, and commandments. Oh, nobody else could do that. Let's put it on the screen, shall we? Luke chapter 1 verse 6 says that Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth, blameless. They kept all the law, statutes, and commandments. How about that for Christianity? The church is teaching us that our, our Abba, our father, is spanking our tails. For, for something that we couldn't do. That's like me whooping my son after I told him to clean his room up, but he could never do it because he was out of town that weekend. We wouldn't be on the, under the curses. We would not be under the curses being whooped by our father if he didn't believe more in us than what we have become, Osimba. We are more than what society says. The law, statutes, and commandments, y'all don't understand how much this means, how passionate I get about this stuff. Because they're trying to lock Israel in that, okay, you don't matter, neither Jew nor Gentile. Christ was immaculate, and Christ did away with Israel post his, post his crucifixion, that we entered into the church age. Let me explain to y'all what the church age is. The church age is the age of Gentile rulership. There are some 
sincere white people, some sincere Gentiles and other nationalities. They hear what I'm saying and be like, JB, you right. There's a war against Israel. Y'all been under these curses as a people, so-called black people. Y'all the people of God. We humble down to that. Is there anything we can do? Well, y'all keep the law, statutes, and commandments and the faith of Yeshua. And y'all will be had, had mercy on by the, by the grace of the Most High. Right? So there are some sincere Gentiles. But there are some wicked ones that have planned that when they wake up, we're going to tell them that they don't matter. Christ was immaculate. He did away with y'all. God mad at y'all because y'all crucified Christ. He came to his own and his own received them not. I hear preachers say this all the time. Let me explain. He came to his own and his own received them not. Peter was an Israelite. Paul was an Israelite. Check this out. Every book in your Bible was written by an Israelite. So what is it saying that he came to his own and his own didn't receive him? There were some that didn't. There were some leaders that didn't. But that don't mean God turned his back on the whole race. Recall what he told Abraham. Understand what I'm saying, y'all. He told Abraham, if I can find one that believes, I'm going to have faithfulness. That's the loving faithfulness of our God. He has not done away with Israel. And now they, the same people that told us to pray for them folks in the land, now they telling you that we don't matter no more. Because black people saying, they ain't, they don't fit the curses. Them ish people didn't go through what we went through. Wait, we the people. Oh, they don't matter no more. But y'all, the same people sending money to them folks over there in the land. But y'all want to keep that hush hush. Sound mighty fishy to me, don't you? And y'all, I'm telling you, y'all, it's a war. I catch hell from, you would think people that love God's people. Oh no, God's people, everybody that believe, whosoever will. Uh, verse 22 says, O men of Israel, because you're trying to quote Acts chapter 2 verse 21. The next verse said, ye men of Israel hear these words. Well, neither Jew nor Gentile. Um. Paul was a Gentile born in Rome? Oh, well in Galatians 3.28, well in Galatians, the same book, chapter four, it says that we might see, receive adoption as sons. And we know who he was talking about. Check this clip out. Y'all, Paul himself was a Gentile born in Rome. You gotta know the who, what, when, where, and why. And y'all, I had to do this video. Christ was not the only begotten son. He was the only begotten son because he was an Israelite. And Israel is the most high son. Israel is the most high's firstborn. Israel is the most high's only begotten son. That has been since the beginning and that has not changed. Unless you see the sun and the moon and the stars stop coming out, that's the only way that Israel will cease to exist and have entitlement to the nation, their land, the land that he swore to our forefathers. And if you believe in the God of the scriptures, the God of Jacob as he's called, you would love his people. So with that y'all, I had to swing, swing all this church replacement theology and white Jesus and Jesus being immaculate and all this foolishness. I'm gonna do a follow up. But y'all, Israel stay encouraged. There's a reason he's waking us up. The powers that be can't stop it. And I beg every black pastor and leader to really dig down deep and see, do you really believe God? Because when it's time to put the puddle to the metal, we're going to see who's on whose side. For time shall reveal all things. And with that, family, I love y'all. Peace, blessings, and black power to the chosen race of the Most High Yah. Israel, Yah loves you. And he will never stop loving his people. And with that, y'all, I love y'all with the love of the Most High. Shalom. All praises be to the Most High Yah. Let's get it.